hi guys you're yeah, welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to properly draft a princess that poster using the easiest method it is detailed beginner friendly and very easy to understand so if this looks like what you really wish to learn please keep on watching so i'm going to go ahead to proceed to the drafting right away and i'll be drafting the front of the bust chair first so the first thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to draw a straight horizontal line at the top of my paper like you see me doing in the video. This line is going to be serving as the shoulder line. Once I'm done drawing the shoulder line, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to start inserting my measurement. And the first measurement I'll be inserting is my shoulder measurement divided by 2. So on this shoulder line I just drew, I'll go ahead to insert my shoulder measurement divided by 2. So the shoulder I'm working with is 15 inch divided by 2 is 7.5. I'll go ahead to mark the 7.5 like this. After marking, I'll be coming down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. Once I'm done marking the 1 inch for, for the shoulder slope, I'll go ahead to insert my armhole depth inch which is 8 inch and I'll go ahead to mark that also. After marking, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to connect this point to this point using a straight line like you see me doing in the video. After which, I'll go ahead to draw the chest line. So I'll go ahead to label this part as the chest line. So once I'm done doing this, next I'm going to go ahead to insert the vertical measurement. So the vertical measurement is your shoulder to bust point, shoulder to under bust, and shoulder to half length. So I'll go ahead to place my tape rule on the shoulder line like this, and I'll insert the shoulder to the bust point, which is 10.5 inch, and I'll go ahead to mark that. Next I'll insert the shoulder to under bust, which is 14 inch, and mark. Then I'll go ahead to insert the shoulder to the waist or half length, which is 17 inch once i'm done doing this i'll go ahead to mark the same thing on this other side again so that i'll be able to draw a straight horizontal line after which i'll go ahead to draw straight horizontal line at each of the points i just marked using my ruler like you see me doing in the video so I'll go ahead to label this part as the bust point. Here is going to be serving as the under bust line and here is going to be serving as the waistline. Once I'm done doing this, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to tighten the under bust. And in doing that, the first thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to insert half of my bust pan measurement. So the bust pan measurement I'm working with is 7.5 divided by 2 is 3.75. I'll go ahead to mark it on the bust point line and on the waistline. After marking it, I'll connect the point together with a straight line like you see me doing in the video. So next, I'm going to go ahead to tighten the underboss. And to tighten the underboss, I'm going to be taking out 2 inch that on the underboss line and on the waistline to give the bust here this nice shape on the front. To know the amount of that to use to tighten the underboss, the first thing to do is to know the difference between the bust and the underboss circumference. So for me, my bust is 36 and my underboss is 31. So the difference is 5 inch. So I'm going to be using 2 inch for the dart for this tutorial. So if the difference between your bust and your under bust is 4 inch downward, I would advise to use 1.75 inch. But if it is 5 inch to 7 inch, I would advise to use 2 inch or 2.5 inch. And if it is 8 inch to 10 inch, I would advise to use 2.75 inch to 3 inch. So for this tutorial, I'll be using 2 inch for the dart and I'll be dividing that 2 inch into 2. I'll go ahead to mark 0.5 on the center panel and I'll mark the remaining 1.5 on the side panel like you see me doing in the video. So once I'm done marking it, I'm going to go ahead to draw a straight horizontal line from the underboss to the waistline with my ruler like like this so once I'm done doing this, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to come down by 1 inch from the bust point line and mark. After marking it, I'll go ahead to connect it back to the under bust with the curved part of my ruler like you see me doing in the video. So this is going to give room for the bust to fit into the bust here properly. But if you are on the bigger side, I'll advise to come down by 1.25. So this is what it is going to look like once you are done connecting it to the underboss line. The next thing we are going to go ahead to do now is to draft the arm holder. So there are different type of bustier. We have the shoulder that bustier and the arm holder that bustier. But for this tutorial, I'll be illustrating the arm holder that bustier. So the first thing we are going to go ahead to do now is to tighten the arm hole. And in doing that, the first thing we are going to go ahead to do is to divide the arm hole into two, like you see me doing in the video. So after dividing the arm hole into two, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to connect that point to the bus point line using a straight line like this. 
so after connecting it to the bus point line the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to take out the dart and i'll be marking 0.75 inch upward like this and i'll go ahead to mark the same 0.75 inch downward like this once i'm done doing that i'll connect the point back to the bus point with a straight line like you see me doing in the video So after connecting it to the bus point, this is what the dart is going to look like. The next thing we are going to go ahead to do now is to replace the 1.5 inch we took out as that, so that you don't have shortage when it comes to joining the center panel to the side panel. Because if you should leave it like this, you will discover that the side panel is looking shorter than the center panel. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to replace the 1.5 inch I took out from the dart like so. So I'll go ahead to place my table like this and I'll go ahead to measure 1.5 inch upward like you see me doing in the video once i'm done doing that i'm going to go ahead to extend the line like this so this is what the armhole that for the bust here is going to look like so the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to start inserting my body circumference measurement so i'm going to go ahead to insert my bust measurement divided by four on the chest line so the bust measurement i'm working with is 36 divided by four is nine inch i'll go ahead to mark that after marking it i'll go ahead to measure whatever i have on this point and i'll replace it on the side like this and mark also so once i'm done doing this the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert my waist measurement on the waistline so i'll measure my waist divided by four and mark the waist measurement i'm working with is 31 divided by four is 7.75 after doing that i'll go ahead to replace these two inch that i took out on the side like this and i'll also go ahead to mark that once i'm done marking it i'm going to go ahead to connect the chest line to the waistline using the straight line like you see me doing in the video so the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now after joining the side is to draw the armhole for the bust here I'm making. So I'm going to go ahead to place the curve part of my ruler like this. Then I'll go ahead to draw the armhole with the curve part of my ruler like you see me doing in the video. So this is what the bust here is going to look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to blend this bust area to eliminate every sharp edge I have on that point. So basically this is what the bust here is going to look like once you're done making the bust here. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to mark a swing allowance of 1.5 inch on the chest line and on the waistline. After which I'll go ahead to draw a straight line with my ruler like you see me doing in the video. So once I'm done doing this, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to draw the neckline for the bust here. So you can draw whatever type of neckline you want for your bust here. So for me, I'll just go ahead to draw a simple round neck. So I'll go ahead to insert a neck width of 3.5 inch and a neck depth of 3.5 inch also. After doing that, I'll go ahead to connect the neck width to the neck depth using the curve part of my ruler like this. After which, I'll go ahead to draw the shoulder slope. So this is what the front block of the bust here is going to look like. So I'm going to be cutting off this part. You see me shooting like this. And also this armhole that we have on this part. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to draft the back block for the bust here we are making. And I'm going to go ahead to be doing it on the same paper like so. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to mark a zip allowance of 1.5 inch on the center back like you see me doing in the video. After marking it, I'm going to go ahead to connect the point together with a straight line like this. So once I'm done drawing the zipper allowance, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to extend the shoulder line to the back and I'll also be doing the same thing for the chest line and also for the bust point line like you see me doing in the video. So once I'm done extending the line, this is what it is going to look like. So if you notice, I did not extend the waistline for the front to the back because the front waistline is different from that of the back. So you will need to measure your shoulder to waist for your front separately and the shoulder to waist for the back separately. So for me, my shoulder to waist for the front is 17 inch while the shoulder to waist for the back is 15.5 inch. So I'm going to go ahead to insert the shoulder to waist for the back now like you see me doing in the video. So to know the difference, you will need to take the measurements separately. So once I'm done doing this, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert my shoulder measurement on the shoulder line. So I'll go ahead to insert my shoulder divided by 2 on the shoulder line and mark. After marking it, I'll be coming down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. After which, I'll go ahead to draw the armhole depth line with my ruler like you see me doing in the video. 
So once I'm done doing this, the next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to start inserting my body circumference measurement. So I'll go ahead to insert my bust measurement divided by 4, which is 9 inch. I'll go ahead to mark that. After marking it, I'll add my sewing allowance of 1.5 inch. Next, I'll move over to the waistline and I'll insert my waist measurement divided by 4 and I'll go ahead to mark that also. Next, I'll go ahead to mark 1 inch for the waist that and 1.5 inch for the sewing allowance. Once I'm done marking this point, next I'm going to go ahead to do now is to connect the sides together with a straight line like you see me doing in the video after which i'll go ahead to draw the armhole for the back of the bust here we are making so once I'm done doing this, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to insert the waist that and in doing that, I'm going to go ahead to mark half of my bust pan measurement. So I'll go ahead to mark my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2 and mark. I'll mark that on the chest line and also on the waistline. Once I'm done marking that, I'll go ahead to draw a straight line like this. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to draw the dart and in doing that I'll go ahead to measure 0.5 inch on both sides like so after which I'll go ahead to draw the dart line like you see me doing in the video. So once I'm done drawing the dart, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to draw the neckline. So the neck width for the front and the back is the same but you can draw whatever neck depth you desire. So I'm just going to go ahead to draw a simple neck for the back of the bust here like you see me doing in the video. After which I'll go ahead to draw the shoulder slope. So this is what the back block of the bust here is going to look like. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to eliminate the zipper board on the center back because if you should leave it straight like this, you will end up having the zipper board once you're done making whatever dress you're making. And in eliminating the zipper board, I'm going to be coming in by 0.5 inch on the waistline like this and mark. After marking it, I'm going to go ahead to connect it back to the chest line with my ruler like this. Once I'm done doing that, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to retake the zipper allowance like you see me doing in the video so i'm going to go ahead to mark the 1.5 inch all the way down after which i'll connect the point together with a straight line like so so this is what the new zipper allowance is going to look like so when fixing your zipper you'll be following what you have on the back block of the bust here so once i'm done doing this the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to cut out both the front block and the back block of the bust here like you see me doing in the video So after cutting, this is what the front block of the bust here is going to be looking like and here we have the back block of the bust here. So this is what you should have once you're done cutting it out. And also when cutting this bust here on your fabric, you'll be adding your sewing allowance to this side of the bust here. You'll be doing the same on the hemline and also on the shoulder line. You'll not be adding to the side because you've already added that of the side and you'll be cutting the center of the bust here on fold. And for the back, you'll be adding to the hem and also to the shoulder only. So this is what you should have. I also have a little tutorial on how to pad and sew your bust here properly. And I'll be dropping that tutorial in the description box for you to go ahead to check it out. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial.